Hello, hello, hello! Hi, everyone! Today's video, we're going to make a fluffy and moist yet delicious cake with this stunning color that we've got from the butterfly pea flower. We also can enjoy this beautiful cake with hot or iced butterfly pea flower latte. So, let's just get started already. Because I only have dried butterfly pea flower, I'm going to grind them first. And voila! Now we have butterfly pea flower powder. Now, we're going to preheat the oven to 320 degrees Fahrenheit. And we're going to separate egg yolks and egg whites into two separate bowls. Slowly add sugar and whisk until the sugar is dissolved. We're going to mix everything until thick and creamy. Then add in the wet ingredients and mix just until combined. Then, we're going to sift in the dry ingredients. To have more strong color like this, just add more butterfly pea flower powder. Or, to have lighter color like this, you just simply brew the tea and use the water and mix it to the batter. On low speed, whip everything until well combined. Special for the egg whites, make sure the bowl and the whisks are clean and completely free from the fat of any kind. Otherwise, the egg whites won't be successfully whipped. Now, at this stage, we can gradually add in sugar. Before it reaches the stiff peaks, we need to stop. And now we have a nice, glossy, beautiful meringue. Look at this tip. The meringue needs to be this form. Gently fold in the meringue into the batter. Thank you. 
batter into prepared pan and spread into an even layer. Gently tap to remove the bubbles and bake for around 30 minutes or until the toothpick inserted comes out clean. Meanwhile, let's prepare the filling. Slowly add sugar. And now, it's ready. Put the whipped cream in the refrigerator for at least 30 minutes. When the cake is done, remove from the pan and place on the cooling rack. Let it chill in the coldest part of the room for about 5 to 10 minutes. And now, the cake is not that warm anymore. We're going to cover with the paper, flip it, and before we put the filling, we're going to roll the cake and put in the refrigerator for at least 30 minutes. Now cut the edges and we're ready to put the filling on the cake. Now we're going to roll the cake back up. And make sure the cake is tightly tucked. Chill in the fridge for at least 3 hours. Now we're going to make butterfly pea flour latte. Bring water to boil and warm up the milk on the stove. Now soak the dry butterfly pea flour into the hot water for at least 10 minutes. Now the lattes are ready to serve. It's time to decorate the cake. And ta-da! Finally our fluffy, moist and beautiful cake and also lattes are ready. Oh la la, look at the color. They are so gorgeous. You can enjoy this cake and this beverage for dessert, afternoon break, or maybe every day. So don't forget to try this recipe at home. Bye!